Rum is quite literally a very sticky subject and if it confuses you then please know that you're not alone. Rum is a distilled spirit made from sugar cane but that's about all everyone can agree on. Well, that and the fact that it makes darn tasty drinks. It may be known for tiki drinks, but it can also work really well in stirred down sippers and even my very favorite indulgent dessert cocktail, which is why I wanted to show you how versatile it can actually be with these five very tasty and very different rum cocktails. The first of our rum cocktails today is the hurricane. Now, this is probably one of the most misunderstood drinks of all time, so don't worry if you've had an overly sweet and sugary one. This is not it. I prefer to think of it as more of a very rum heavy rum sour with a little tropical pop of passion fruit and that iconic serve keeping it fun. So first we're just gonna squeeze some fresh lemon juice. Being thrifty, I've used this one for a twist for another drink. It's a good juicy one. And then we'll get our garnish ready as well. You can obviously use um, cocktail cherries. We just happen to have some nice fresh cherries here, which I thought would be a lovely addition. So just skewer one of them and your orange wedge. So we're gonna go 40 mils of light rum. I'm using Pampero Blanco. It's just really um, nice and kind of fruity, but really any good quality light rum or white rum is gonna work for you. And then uh, the same amount, so 40 mils of your dark rum. Using Plantation Original Dark, definitely a good buy and it's not super expensive. We'll do 30 mils of passion fruit syrup. This is pretty easy to make. I'll pop the recipe in for you. Then 30 mils of your fresh lemon juice. I'm gonna fill your shaker with as much ice as you can fit in there. Pop your tins together and shake as hard as you can. You can see your tin's all nice and frosty. Pop it open, give it a little taste. It's pretty lethal. Grab your glass out of the fridge or freezer and then you can just pour straight in with the rest of it. Because it is such a big glass, I've just popped a little bit of fresh ice in the bottom because probably what you have in here will not quite fill it all the way up. Then you just need your straw. Pop in your garnish, and there we have a hurricane. If made properly, the hurricane will be tart and refreshing and transport you to a tropical beach immediately. However, if you're more of a late night cocktail lounge person, then look no further than our next drink. The Cuban answer to a Manhattan, this cocktail shows that the rum drinks can be just as sophisticated as the rest of them. As per usual, we're gonna get our twist prepared first. So I like to kind of trim it down and make it look pretty. You can also just use a veggie peeler to, to peel off a twist as well, if that's easiest for you. So we're gonna start with 40 mils of a full bodied white rum. Havana three year old is actually, it's quite an old rum, it's three years old. You get heaps of, of citrus and floral notes in there. 20 mils of a blanc vermouth. Then you want a nice dry curacao or triple sec. As any regular viewers will know, I do just love this product. I promise I'm not sponsored, it's just my favorite. And then a little bar spoon, five mils of grenadine. Got a nice homemade one here. Fill the glass with ice. Put the back of your bar spoon against the inside of your mixing glass and just kind of push the ice around. When you start to feel the mixing glass getting chilled, give it a little taste. This probably needs to go on for a little bit longer. You can kind of just still like feel the booze on your tongue um, and you're looking for this to be really nice and smooth. It's better. Grab your coop out of the fridge or preferably the freezer. Use your julep strainer to hold the ice back and then just pour into the glass. These sort of all booze drinks generally uh, are best served as cold as you can get them. Give your twist a little squeeze over the top of the drink. And then I just like to kind of wrap it around. And the idea is it's not gonna get into your face quite as much as if it's just sort of free floating in there. De El Presidente.
Now that we've traveled to Cuba, let's go back to something a little bit more well known. It's absolutely one of our biggest sellers at Bomba. I can't believe how many we make on a Friday night sometimes. And when made properly, it's a really awesome spicy thirst quencher. Unsurprisingly for a rum cocktail, this drink was apparently a naval invention. So first we need our garnish and some freshly squeezed lime juice. So the easiest way to do it is just to half your lime in the middle and then just take a couple of thin slices off and then you can squeeze the rest of it. So this one's super easy, especially for doing at home because you can just build it all right in the glass. Just a regular highball glass is fine. I just decided to go um, for something a little bit fancy basically because I haven't had a chance to use these glasses yet. So you want 60 mils of goslings. Just depends how much booze you want to taste. 30 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice. Then your good quality ginger beer. So about 120 mils, but I usually just eyeball it. So you want it to be just over halfway, then that way it all gets nice and mixed in the glass without you having to kind of mess about with it once the ice is in. Just give it a little stir. Again, you don't have to get right in there with the spoon, just kind of slowly push it round. And at this point, you can see if you need to add any more ice or ginger beer. I think we're probably all good for ginger beer, but I might try and cram in a little more ice because you know that I always say more is better. And then just take your white lime wheel, pop it in the side, give it a little push down with your bar spoon and another one on the other side. And then a last one just to kind of balance on the top here. And then to finish off, just a couple of dashes of Angostura on top and you get the nice contrasting little rim of bitters on top. Give it a little taste. Very spicy and refreshing. And then pop a little straw in there. And there you have it. Dark and stormy. As you can see, rum and spices go so well together. And another cocktail which shows us that in a bit of a shorter, sharper format is the Royal Bermuda Yacht Club. So this is basically just a fancy daiquiri and it shows how switching out just one or two ingredients can really transform a cocktail. So first we want to squeeze some fresh lime juice and get your garnish ready. Just try and make it as thin as you can because you want it to float on top of the cocktail. And then you can squeeze the rest of it. So we'll start off with 50 ml of rum. So I'm actually going for an agricol rum here because it's just brings a lot of interest and a kind of almost like savoury note. Then we have 20 ml of freshly squeezed lime juice, 15 ml of falernum, and about 5 ml or a bar spoon of marionette curacao. Pack your shaker tin with as much ice as you can fit in there. Pop your tins together and then shake as hard as you can. So good. Grab your glass out of the fridge or freezer. Then you're just gonna use the Hawthorne strainer to hold the ice back in the tin and strain through the fine strainer. Then we're just gonna pop the lime wheel on, so get it on your knife and just nudge it off as gently as you can. And it should float. So at Bomba, we do normally use a dehydrated lime wheel to garnish this and that floats like perfection. The fresh one was misbehaving a little bit and it was making Josh cranky. So we've popped it on the edge here. The Royal Bermuda Yacht Club. This is one of my all time favorite rum drinks when I'm looking for something really citrusy and bright. When I'm feeling a little bit indulgent though, it's quite hard to go past the granddaddy of dessert cocktails. Adding a whole egg to your drink might sound a little bit strange, but I promise that the creamy and luxurious texture is well worth it. 
So we're gonna go with 30 mils of a uh, spice drum. Um, I'm using the gunnery, which has got really strong sort of dark cocoa and coffee notes, which obviously work really well in this cocktail. 30 mils of ruby port or a similar dessert wine. Sticking with the Australian theme, we're going for a little Australian fortified wine here. Then we're gonna go 20 mils of sugar syrup. I know it sounds like quite a lot, but um, Dairy does this weird thing where it kind of just sucks up sweetness. So you kind of have to put a little bit more in there than you think. And then 20 mils of cream. And one egg. So we're just gonna pop this all together and then just shake a little bit. And so you'll see at this point, it's actually quite nice and creamy looking. And that means it's emulsified. So we can add in some ice. Pop our tins together. Shake as hard as you can. Good. So we're just gonna use our Hawthorne strainer to hold the ice back in the tin and then definitely use a fine strainer for this one because you don't want the ice chips ruining that really lovely creamy texture. And then finally, just need a, a micro plane if you have one um, and then a little nutmeg and give it a grate over the top. rum eggnog. Perfect for Christmas or any day really. Five delicious and incredibly different rum cocktails. So now you know.